Howdy train fans, welcome back to the Chattanooga Southern Railroad. So I did get some time today to work on the uh, layout, after all. Uh, and you can see my, got my train running in the background, it's always a good thing to have uh, going. And you can see I've been busy making mountains. So this is the mountain for the um, this end of the layout. Um, it's rough shape at this point, but you can kind of get a feel for what I'm doing here. So one of the things that I did um, to do this is I grabbed one of those two by four uh, two inch pieces of uh, foam, styrene, sorry, and I laid it flat over top of all this stuff. And then I got up on a stool and I put all my weight on it, on the surface of it over top of the track. And what that did is it indented the foam with the rails everywhere that it would fall. And that piece of foam came all the way to this line here. So it was pretty big. But the nice thing about that is that I could then measure off the outside rail an inch and a quarter and make the troughs for all the different tracks that were in there. And it, that gave me a pattern for cutting it out. And what I did was I did that for the first layer and then the second layer, and this being two, uh, two two inch pieces of foam, that was four inches total, which gave me, as you can see here, a nice tunnel there. Um, in addition to that, uh, I took some extra pieces and started modeling the upper part of what I think it's gonna be. I think I'm gonna put a, like a four wheel drive tr Jeep trail up over the top of the bridge and, and whatnot. But the other thing, and sorry for the bad lighting, but I made myself an access panel, which a couple of you have mentioned that I was gonna need or want. Um, so you can see this is a 16 inch wide opening, four inches high. Um, there'll be a door over top of this in the fascia. Um, but the nice thing is it gives me access pretty much all the way through there. And also for this stub end track uh, that you see there. Um, and I'll explain that more on another uh, episode. Um, but as I move around here, you can kind of see it from the other side. Um, this is still going to get cut back a little bit. Uh, as I mentioned before, that tunnel portal has to be widened. And it's not going to fit here. I think it's going to have to come around the curve. So I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere around the, where I've got that brown line. Uh, but you can see that's where the tunnel port is going to be for there. There's the rip track. And, of course, the uh, scrap yard over there. And so I got the uh, start of my mountain, which really is starting to make this thing look uh, more real, I guess. And the nice thing about this, too, is it breaks up the monotonous loop of track, right? Um, that you would normally see a train going round and round and round. Look, kids, Big Ben Parliament kind of thing. So, um, but there you have it. And yes, I made a heck of a mess uh, doing this. Um, and what I used to do the rough cutting, I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's a, a, a 10 inch sawzall blade that I used by hand. Um, I tried it with the sawzall boy, did that not work well. Um, so I recommend taking it out of the sawzall and using it. Um, and that is a wood blade. Here, you can see it here. It's got some pretty sharp teeth on it uh, and it made quick work of it. And then for the fine tuning, I used one of those click um, style uh, razor blades and mine broke so that's why I don't have it to show you I already chucked it in the trash but anyway you can see here this is the portal I haven't cut in half yet um, and you can see I'm gonna have to widen it but I think it's looking exactly what I had in my mind at least conceptually I mean there's a lot of more work to do there but hey it's a it's a mountain um, the only other place I'm gonna have some mountain is once I get this track work down which i'm going to start working on here next couple nights i'll have a mountain back here in this corner and you can kind of see an outline 
there where I think it's going to be. Not going to be something monumentous, but um, uh, it's going to be uh, another mountain. So uh, with a couple tunnel portals, one for the uh, main line going through there and then uh, the old L&N line going in through there. So anyway, so I did get some work done on this today and uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to keep working and uh, hopefully we'll get you another update here this week. So with that, have a good evening and uh, we'll see you on down the tracks. Bye.